Hello everyone, Jake here with you. Today I'm going to show you how to enable PowerShell scripts to be run from PowerShell. So to do this, I'll show you what happens anyway when you haven't got them enabled. I'm going to change my directory to documents. And as you can see, right here I have a PowerShell script. So I'm going to try and run that. As you can see, it says cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on this system. For more information, see about execution policies. So execution policies. What I'm going to look at is what my execution policy is. So I'm going to go get execution policy. And as you see, it's restricted. So what I want to do is I want to change my execution policy. So now this might not work because I'm not running this as an administrator, but I'll show you what happens anyway. So I want to go set execution policy remote signed. Yes. And as you can see, I'm not allowed to do that because access is denied. So what I want to do here is PowerShell and I want to run it as an administrator. Now from here, I'm going to go set execution policy. And you can just tab and it'll find it. Remote sign. Enter. Yes. Now I'll get the execution policy just to make sure it's there. And as you see now it is remote signed. If I switch back to here, and go try and run this script again. Ah, I see what's wrong. My script is wrong. That's all right though. So if I go to here and I'll just edit my script just to make sure because I've been playing around with it. If I was to do that. And I'll just save my script. I'll run it again. It's running anyway. The script is not right, but it's running. Here we go, now it's running properly. Give it a minute and it should pop up with a big grid of stuff. There it is. So now you see the script runs fine, it's all running good, and we are able to run our scripts. Anyway, if you want to see more, don't forget like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.